All right, guys, my name's Lloyd Barnes. What if I told you that you could meet a complete stranger on the street, their wallet or their purse is in their pocket with their bank card firmly locked in there. You never go anywhere near it. You never see it. They never take it out. They don't say anything out loud. They write nothing down. Nothing done at all can reveal the last four digits on their bank card. It would be a miracle, right? Well, I've discovered something lately that I want to share with you completely for free today that if you're in the right situation, you can have a complete, incredible miracle on your hands. So, I'm going to show you exactly what that is right now. Like I said, you've got to be in the right situation for this to work. So, you can't always do it to everybody you meet all the time. But when you do, you will have an absolute miracle on your hands. So, let me get into the method. And what this involves is an iPhone. So, a couple of days ago, uh, I downloaded the iPhone beta software. And on that software, you have Apple Pay. So like I said, not everyone's going to have an iPhone. Not everyone's going to have iOS 9 when it comes out. I've had it a few days early because I've got the beta version. But a lot of people do have an iPhone. It's the most used smartphone in the world. And a lot of people are going to set up Apple Pay. I know the UK have just rolled it out pretty much everywhere. I know they have it in Canada. I was there a couple of weeks ago. And America, again, really, really soon. So you're going to have a high chance of meeting somebody who has an iPhone. But here's the really cool thing. When you want to use Apple Pay, all you have to do is go to a machine, and double click the home screen, and your card pops up place your fingerprint on it and it just takes you back to the bank details, right? What's really cool though is that the last four digits of your card, I hope that stays blurry so you can't tell mine are, the last four digits of your card appear on the iPhone screen. You don't need any fingerprint to do this, this literally works with just a double tap on any phone as long as it's set up. So with that information in mind, all you need to do is do a bit of smart routine in and you can literally reveal the last four digits of someone's bank card without them ever taking it out of their purse, wallet, it can be in their bag pocket, they can even leave it at home because Apple Pay works if you're at home. And they don't even need to know the last four digits so they never have to say anything out loud. So here's, here's an example of a routine. Maybe you're out performing and you do Garrett Clark's fate effect or you do Garrett Clark's uh, non-toxic routine where you use the calculator to do some like add a number routine stuff. You could do the original toxic method, but instead of using it on your phone, you just borrow it on this, which makes more sense because it's their phone, the effect seems more magical, it's more impressive. And just before you do the effect, you take their phone and you ask them, is it okay, can I use the calculator? You point it towards yourself, double tap. If their bank card pops up, amazing, you can now go into a miracle in five minutes time. If it doesn't, just carry on with the same effect. They're, they're incredible pieces of magic and wait until you find the right person that it'll work on. But when you do get that hit, remember these four digits at the bottom here, that's the last four digits on their bank card. And at any time you want to, you can reveal that in the most incredible ways you can imagine. Get creative, write it down in some wild places, reveal it in the middle of a routine, you can use cards to reveal their bank number. And the whole while you can remind them, just before you reveal the numbers, that their bank card's in their pocket, or in their purse, or in their wallet, or even at home. They don't know the last four digits, so you, you've never been near them. There's no way that you could reveal it. And with a, as long as you use a nice bit of time misdirection, so you do like a, a, a number routine on their phone, or you even take a picture on their phone for them with their friends, and then just leave it for like 10 minutes, five minutes. You can do it in the same routine, but it'll be stronger when you give it time misdirection. Uh, in the right, like I said, in the right circumstances, this can be an absolute miracle, like TV style magic that you could do on the street almost anywhere, anytime, in the right situation. So the way that I would routine this is that I do an effect by Stephen Leithwaite, which is his hand lit up out of this world, uh, where you can have the deck shown, shuffled, face up on the table, uh, and then they collect it up and go from there. But what I do is, because some people thought that uh, they were misremembered how it would begin, I always get people to take a picture of the deck spread face up before they collect it, so when they go back, they can see that there's no to find order. So this would be perfect for me because now, deck shuffle, they, they spread on the table, and I say I want you to take a picture of the deck so that when you see what happens later, you know that there was no setup and there was no funny order in the cards. So I take their phone, I'll say look, I'll take the picture, take their phone, I would just double tap the home button, if they, if they get a bank card pop up, I'm just going to remember those digits and just be excited inside and keep my mouth shut for like 10 minutes. If it doesn't, you've still got a great effect to perform in front of them, but if it does, then perfect. I pop it up, remember the four digits, press the home button again, and open the camera, take a picture of the stack, and continue to perform the trick. 
then when they put their phone away, they'll probably even forget the picture was taken, and you can go in with time misdirection from there. So that's the way I would perform it, but get creative. There's a million ways in which you can get people to bring their phones out, you can predict their PIN number, you can use apps. Uh, there's, there's a whole lot of ways to do this, but it's just a really interesting thing that I wanted you all to know, because <coughs> iOS 9 is being unrolled on the 16th of September across the world, all iOS devices from, I think, the 5C upwards. So uh, loads and loads of thousands and thousands of people around the world are going to have iOS 9 on their phone, and the chances are, if you're in the right country, then a lot of them are going to adopt the Apple Pay system straight away. So with this in mind, it's going to be really fresh, no one's going to be doing it. You'll probably maybe be able to get a few magician friends if they haven't seen this video. And like I said, this has the potential to be TV style magic that you can do anytime, anywhere if you're in the right situation. That doesn't make sense. You can do this in the right situation, somewhere, sometimes. I don't even know. But it's a cool effect, so I hope you enjoy it.